Hello, hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining. And uh, today I'm very excited to start a new series on the beginner's guide to Windows Server Active Directory. This will be the part one in this series and the agenda would be, we'll understand what is the primary function of Active Directory. We'll also understand what was there before Active Directory and we'll understand the business world before Active Directory. So this is the agenda for the day. So what is the primary function of Active Directory? So the primary function of Active Directory is identity and access management. Some people call it as an IDAM, some people call it as IAM. I -A -M. So its primary function is to authenticate and authorize users and computers in a Microsoft Windows domain. So in a nutshell, we can say that uh, the primary function is who you are and what can you access. This is the primary function. It's very, say, broad way of talking, but this is the basic function of Active Directory. So let us understand, say, what was there before Active Directory. So who was responsible for, say, uh, identity and access management before Active Directory? And Active Directory was introduced in Windows, say, 2000 Server. And prior to Windows 2000 Server, we had Windows NT or new technology. So let us see uh, the Windows NT architecture in a graphical manner. So this architecture, Windows NT architecture is also known as a single master architecture or say it's a master slave architecture wherein we have a server and we configure this server as a domain controller and it's a, we call it as a primary domain controller and that's the only domain controller uh, that's a single domain controller in our uh, Windows NT domain which is a primary domain controller and uh, we can configure number of backup domain controllers so single primary domain controller and multiple backup domain controllers so what exactly is the difference so the primary domain controller is the only computer which has or the server which has a read and write copy of the SAM or security accounts manager database and uh, the backup domain controllers has a read only copy of SAM database so let's say if you want to perform any change okay, in your domain for example if you want to create say a user or delete a user or modify something or move some object to say any other location that, that can be called as a change. So creation, deletion, modification and movement can, can be called as a change. So if you want to perform any change, it has to be performed against the primary domain controller because the primary domain controller is the only server which has a read write copy of SAM database. And as soon as the change takes place on the primary domain controller or PDC, that will be then replicated to the backup domain controllers. So this was the typical Windows NT architecture in those days. And uh, if the primary domain controller goes down, any backup domain, uh, domain controller comes up as the primary domain controller. So this was the Windows NT architecture in those days. Now this architecture is say taken over and now we have an active directory architecture which will be which we will discuss in our upcoming videos so let us understand uh, let us go through the windows nt architecture summary so it's a single master architecture 
concept of primary domain controller and backup domain controller. Only the primary domain controller has a read write copy of a SAM database and the backup domain controller has read only copy. And if the primary domain controller goes down, say any of the backup domain controller comes as a primary domain controller. So this is the it's a basic summary of the Windows NT architecture. Now, let us understand the business world before Active Directory. So, the businesses were, let's say, limited by single locations in those days. In, say, 20, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, businesses were limited to single location. Computers and computer networks were just say started entering the business world most of the businesses were still managed using let's say pen and paper and a windows nt was say efficient enough to serve this kind of business model then in those days but the business model or the management changed in the late 90s now the businesses were not just confined to single locations so uh, businesses were diversified okay so there were a lot of acquisitions and mergers happened across the globe so it was not just confined to single location now the computers and computer networks were prominently used by the businesses now the windows nt was not efficient enough to serve the, the new business model so active directory was the microsoft answer to this particular change so this is end of the part one i hope you have enjoyed today's session thank you for joining in and if you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new please subscribe and share this video with your technical community and uh, have a great day bye bye take care can't it be the same